Hey guys. So I just thought I'd um, shoot another vlog video. I uh, <clears throat> I really just want to <clears throat> today. I really want to talk to young beginner violinists or fiddlers because <clears throat> I want to let you know, guys, that you you are you are pretty much on the first steps to being able to create like a life of joy. Like you've obviously started music because y you are drawn to it. So unless your parents have forced you <laughs> to, uh, to start a musical instrument, or in this case, the violin or the fiddle, the first thing you should do is go and fucking thank them. Because any parent who's willing to <clears throat> push you <clears throat> to become disciplined and to create routine through an instrument and for that matter like a hard instrument and a hard instrument not just for you but for the parent that has to sit there and one listen to you fucking strangle a cat on it and two is like tell you to practice and three drive you to practice and four, pay for your practice sessions. So you are one lucky person. Like, and, and that goes for like any instrument, but specifically stringed instruments, fretless instruments. Like the best thing you can do is once you finish watching this uh, video, go and find a parent and thank them for pretty much giving you the greatest head start in life. Because let me tell you, if you're not, if you're not pretty much working towards m making your passion into a job, so uh, learning classical violin from a young age, like being proficient as a young teenager in classical music, like classical violin, like that opens you up to so many job opportunities from working in an orchestra, creating uh, like creating soundtracks for games, movies, television shows, like everything. Um, becoming a YouTuber and teaching people online, uh, and basically creating a passive income. But anyway, that's getting way too adult. But, um, but probably mostly what, <clears throat> what, what your parents have done is they've, either by forcing you or by you doing it yourself, they've incorporated the, gr the, the greatest thing for success, and that is routine, discipline, perseverance. Like, literally those three, routine, discipline, perseverance. Like, I was, I was 30 years old when the army taught me that. Before that, I was an absolute piece of shit. So... If you're learning this at like 13, like if you're learning this in your single digits, that's amazing. Like you really are set up for success. Now, the most important thing is that you don't turn into a fucking slave wage and become some sort of accountant or something. Because if you're learning to play music right now, there's no point being an accountant. Um, so, yeah. You, you have to realize the opportunity that your parents are giving you by actually taking the time and effort to introduce you to music and then getting you to learn violin because from violin comes guitar piano i mean <clears throat> if you can if you can learn music theory as a kid like like holy shit like people go to university to become let's just stick with the accountant people go to university to become an accountant and then from there, they go and get a job as an accountant. And then f maybe after 10 years, they open up their own business. You can do exactly the same thing as a musician. As long as, just like you're taught math as a kid, like you have to know the fundamentals of math to be able to, well, probably one, to enjoy math, and then to be able to get better at it through high school and then be able to get good grades and, and then step on into university. Exactly the same thing with music. Like, 
if you're learning music theory and how music works as a kid, by the time you're a teenager, it comes it com it comes so naturally that I mean do I need to go on anymore? Like it's so obvious that you can do whatever you want. Like ah like I don't know, like I feel like now in today's society with with the internet and the just the freedom of music, uh the freedom of information, like compared to when like I was a kid, like there was no one on YouTube going, dude, like, it's easy. I did it. Let me show you how I did it. Like, but you can do that. You can just Google and find anyone. Like, there's this young girl on who's like an Instagram sensation. And, and she she's like preteen. Like, uh, that's pretty. No, yeah, she's probably like 12, 13, maybe 13. And, and she jams on the street. She just hooks her, her violin pickup to a... Uh, to an amp and just jams you know i her setup is obviously getting more and more complex and it, and her, the music that she plays on the street is becoming more layered and it's amazing i think she even has a pedal that she uses i'm not sure but that could be you at 11 like most of it most people who don't have parents who are pushing you into music like most of us don't even discover music until we're 13 and most of the time it's pop music and we all want to be famous and sing fucking and sing like and yet you know if if, if you're being pushed into being a violinist by your parents like it's the greatest thing they could ever do for you because while we're all trying to become pop singers you're you're a freaking qualified classical musician so and 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 i'll tell you like if you're classical anything you're everything in that genre so let me give you an example if you're a classical guitarist you're a fucking metal guitarist you're a heavy metal guitarist you're a rock guitarist you're a pop guitarist you're everything because you have the proper technique in playing classical violin you can change to any type of violin that you want because you are trained in the most disciplined of all fiddle um, genres. <clears throat> I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say here is like, I'm old and you're not. I missed my opportunity and you haven't. It is the it is the choices that you make in the next couple of years that will decide if you're going to have a life that's full of music, full of violin playing, and and not just, now let me finish that sentence first, so full of violin playing, or you can make a whole bunch of choices that are based on social things like, you want a girlfriend, you want to get laid, so you're not going to go practice, or you're going to drop out because you want to play football. Fuck sports. What a fucking joke. Don't play sports. Sports are fuck, fucking idiots P for people who don't have musical talent. You're better than that. Don't go play sports. What if you break your wrist? What if you break your hand? What if you lose your hand? Fucking stay away from that shit. Go to the gym. Lift weights. Just run. Don't eat properly. You want to be safe? Just do yoga. No one's going to judge you these days for doing that. It's the safest fucking sport you can do. You're above that now. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just have so much to say on this subject, man, because like, my, you know, like my mum was a single mum for a starters, and, and we had security at some points in our life, but, and also if you're a parent watching this, like, don't say to your kids, do whatever you want. Like, you know your kids better than anyone else. Like, if they have musical talent, do them a favor and fucking introduce them to it and then push them into learning. Because even if they're, like, if they've been playing classical guitar for five years by the time they hit 18, that knowledge and that will put, could help them, you know, become a drummer. You know, that musical knowledge and knowing that, like, practice, 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 and then three months you might see an improvement and that improvement is totally worth all the effort. Because that's what you gain from learning an instrument that's what you get is you, you get this understanding that like 
it takes time. And then after about 360 days, like not necessarily practicing every single one of those days, but after that period of time, the difference between when you started and where you are like after one year, it's a huge change. And I think as kids, like we can't, you, we fucking hell, I'm an adult. Kids can't, you can't visualize that. Like for, for you, a year is freaking ages away, but I guarantee you, man, if you spend your fucking life playing, if you spend that year, instead of practicing, if you spend that time playing fucking PUBG, I guarantee you'll be nowhere. Like you won't be, you won't be playing, uh, you know, in any tournaments, you know, you won't be playing, you know, in fucking, was it challenger league rank, whatever the fucking top rank is at. Like you're just going to be, you're going to be diamond or gold. Like, you know, and if it's anything like mobile legends, they'll just, they dump you down a fucking rank every, every end of every season. I mean, what's the point? I mean, you could, you could put down the phone or you could like, you could switch your attitude between violin playing and playing fucking PUBG. Go play PUBG for an hour a day and then fucking play your violin for six hours. And I mean, <clears throat> we'll be talking about you when you hit 18, we'll be talking about you. You'll be the fucking violin virtuoso on YouTube. Like I'll be talking about you on my channel. You know, I'll have gray hair. I'll probably be, I'll be old, but you know, I'll, we'll be talking about you, but we won't be talking about you if you've been playing that much time on PUBG. Cause there's like a billion people playing PUBG on both mobile and PC uh, and it, and, and, you know, this isn't so much for the guys and I probably shouldn't be so harsh, but if you're a girl or a guy and you watch reality TV, like, fuck you, fuck you. Like, what a waste of fucking time. Like, it's not even reality. It's not even reality TV. So, if you are someone who watches fucking six hours of reality TV, just turn off my channel. Don't come back to it because you're not welcome. Because that's just fucking scum television. Anyway, that's too harsh. I shouldn't say that shit. All right. So the most important thing to take away from this video, guys, is like, as a youngster, as a young one, the choices that you make in the next couple of years will pretty much decide whether you're going to end up a fucking toilet cleaner or even worse an accountant or if you'll actually m step into music and the thing is is it's not always just playing in an orchestra you can still play in a band like you could be the next hillary klug i don't know if you guys know who hillary klug is but she's the tap dancing fiddle playing blonde girl american girl you could be the next her easy she just took two things that were really important in her culture. She learned how to do it. And then she went on YouTube about, it could be two years ago now, but like she went viral about a year ago. And right now in, in, in the filming of this video, I believe she's here in Europe again, touring. She was in London, not even a month ago. So it's that easy. If you have the talent and you spend the time actually working on it, you can be Hillary Clue. You know, this you can be Lindsay Sterling. There's so many people. T Taylor Davis. Taylor Davis has done nothing but play violin on on YouTube for as long as I can remember YouTube being around. I mean, that's not true. Maybe it's five years. I always forget that I'm old. So. I believe that's her job now. She makes YouTube videos. She obviously has an online school as well and she works hard, but she doesn't clean toilets or count money. And that could be you. Anyway, so don't forget to practice. Uh, just, just try, when you do want to quit, like just sleep on it. Don't, don't just Fuck the violin off. Don't fuck the violin off. You'll really regret it. And that's coming from 
a fucking 38 year old beginner violinist. Like I held a Stentor student one in my hand when I was 20. Like I, I, I had done this before and bitches and alcohol came first. And now I'm old and I get to start now. Like, don't make me this mistake. Put down the games, get off the net, and start practicing. Listen to the genre of music that you want to play violin slash fiddle in. I immerse yourself in that, uh, in that music, and you'll hit 18, even 20, even 21. You're still, 18 is 21 when I look back. Like, this, you don't, you're still stupid. Just keep, by the time you're that age, you, you can literally, like, surpass all of us adult beginner violinists. So violin newbie, Marika plays, all of us. You can surpass us in months because you have the skill. Set yourself up now. And when you become an adult, when you're old enough to, to start, you know, hitting the piss with the rest of us, you can be the person up on the stage playing fiddle. You're the one who can take everybody's attention in a pub because you've spent time learning this. Everybody else, everyone else will be battling each other in the fucking cow pit, like in amongst all the cattle, and you will be the one up on the stage with the skill to actually play. Like, every other fucker will have to, like, have a shiny shirt, you know? But the girls aren't looking, or the boys aren't looking at that, uh, at them. They're not, they're not, eyes are not on the crowd. Eyes will be on you. I mean, if that's the kind of motivation you need, dude, it's, it's completely doable. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'm going to cut it off there. It's been like, I've been doing this for like 20 minutes. I, I really hope I cut this down for you guys because it's a rant and a half. But it, it just... Aim to be better than everyone else. Okay, okay. I guess I want to say. Let me say this. Every all the all the millionaires and stuff like that on fucking YouTube. All the people doing like you know I'm, you know I travel because like I'm financially free and all that. You know the the one annoying saying they always say is like you know do what the other you know ninety nine percent are not or like don't don't follow the herd and all that kind of shit. And in this particular subject, like, it's so true. Like, almost every single person who's sitting in a group violin class with you will quit. Everyone in a fiddle school with you, it's just going to be some obscure hobby. And that's what makes it so good. Like, l let me just prove this to you. Like, go Google other beginner fiddlers, adult beginner fiddlers. There's two of us. There's the fiddling violin, fiddling violin, and the new fiddler. Everybody else is just thumb in bum. Like they've got like four or five videos. It's only us two are the only two fiddlers, adult beginner fiddlers on YouTube. And you think how big YouTube is. And that's what we're saying. Like nobody's doing this shit. Nobody's doing it. Do what the 1% are doing. Don't do what everybody else is doing. Everybody else is just a fucking zombie. Don't be a zombie. Anyway, sorry guys, I fucking, I had to get off my chest, it was, I'm just sitting here practicing and looking at the fucking tiger, and I just, I have these moments where I just rage out in my head, and I need to talk to people, so, thanks for listening guys, alright, I'll post another one soon, peace.